Hey everyone. Today, let's know about some of the shocking theories which proves the science in the Hindu mythology. Let's start the video. But before that, I request you to subscribe to the channel and like this video so that I can bring more exciting ones like this. There are certain narrations in Mahabharata that defies any rational explanations. Some examples are explanations about flying vehicles or vimanas, Arjuna's travels in a flying chariot across the Himalayas, his visit of the Deva territories, which on a lighter note signifies ancient alien base camps in Tibet. Arjuna's battle with the Nivata Kavachas, which also might mean men in space suits. Salva's attack of the city of Dwarka in a flying city named Sobha. the triple space cities of asuras that revolved around earth in three circular orbits that was destroyed by shiva using a single projectile weapon and many more a few excerpts from the mahabharata have caused doubts in the minds of historians indicating the possibility of nuclear weapons being used in the mahabharata war or post war This fire of suspicion has further been fueled by the recent discoveries of green glass and many radioactive samples in certain excavation sites in India which apparently were associated with the Mahabharata war. Green glass is said to form when sand melts at very high temperatures prevalent in nuclear explosions. In the Mahabharata the total death toll amounts to around 1.6 billion in a matter of 18 days. How could this be possible unless and otherwise there is an involvement of weapons of mass destruction? Modern archaeological surveys have slowly started to provide us valuable clues of the war. The vast amount of devastation found at the site of Mohenjo-daro corresponds exactly to Nagasaki. In Shrimad Bhagavatam it has been mentioned that when his excellency Nimi was dead the seers by process of mantha perhaps human cloning in modern idioms created a new baby from his dead body the baby was called Janaka it was called Videha as it was born out of a non sexual process as the baby was born out of a process of mantha it was called Mithila and his kingdom was also named as Mithila In another episode when Sita and Rama's son Lava was lost Valmiki produced Kusha from grass which is analogous to cloning apparently again the cloning he did was far more advanced than the cloning techniques of today Rakta beach is another similar sighting where every drop of this rakshasa's blood on earth produced his adult clone The science of cloning was well known and practiced during the Mahabharata times. The Kauravas were products of technology that modern science has not even developed yet. It is also said that according to the description in Mahabharata, the Kauravas were created by splitting the single embryo into 100 parts and growing each part in a separate container. In other words, they not only knew about test tube babies and embryo splitting but also had the technology to grow human fetuses outside human body. Embryo transfer is done today as in vitro fertilization which is known as IVF or zygote intra fallopian transfer which is also called as ZIFT. and in both process embryo is developed outside the womb and then placed inside when kansa had killed six fetuses of devki and she got pregnant for the seventh time transfer of fetus was arranged by vishnu he ordered yoga maya to take out the fetus of devki and place it in the womb of rohini another wife of vasudeva who then resided in the house of nanda in gokul In Mahabharata when Subhadra was pregnant Arjun told her the secret of entering the chakra view when he was explaining the exit procedure Subhadra fell asleep hence Abhimanyu learned the entrance procedure while he was in Subhadra's womb but did not learn the exit strategy there was a time when people criticized this concept but modern science says that it is very much possible In his book Right Brain Education in Infancy Dr Makoto Sichida says the right brain is very much active during gestation 
Ram Setu is an engineering masterpiece. From scientific point of view, the technology once existed to make stones float on water and the architect like Null and Neil were two architects advanced in building a bridge from India to Sri Lanka within five days with the help of dedicated workforce of million Vanaras. Even in Valmiki Ramayan, there is a concept of civil engineering in building this bridge. This bridge was not constructed just by throwing stones with Lord name, but there were many engineering methods. We know that there are two types of replacement of body parts. First, there are parts like hands, arms and legs, which are not vital organs. Then there are the transplants of vital organs. The one instance where one can conceive of a combination of the two is transplanting the entire head, which is both an external appendage and the storehouse of the most important organ in the body, the brain. Thus, head replacement would be the most sophisticated organ transplant one can imagine. We find an instance of this in the story of Ganesha. There are several accounts of how Ganesha received his head. According to one, Shani was among the guests at Ganesha's birth. When Shani looked directly at the child, the baby's head turned to ash. Parvati began to wail. When this happened, Lord Vishnu flew off in search of a substitute head. He found on the bank of a river a sleeping elephant. He severed the beast's head and affixed it on the body of Lord Ganesha. As Dhritarashtra was blind but wanted to know what was happening at the battlefield, Krishna gifted Sanjay with Dibya Drishti so that he could see a live telecast of Kurukshetra and describe that to Dhritarashtra. Now, Dibya Drishti is analogous to modern television set in the sense that Krishna could not give it directly to Dhritarashtra but needed Sanjay. Imagine a central computer system with wireless links that can accept voice commands or thoughts. Then you can understand how cameras in the heavens, as in satellites of these days, would point to the locations which Dhritarashtra asked Sanjay to describe about. Therefore, Dibya Drishti in modern description is a television set with a wireless link to the satellite and an access right to the system to control the cameras. The access permission was granted by the system administrator, Lord Krishna. Well, that's it for today. I hope you're liking Nerdy's discoveries. There are a lot more in the list, so I will be sharing the part two of this topic in the next one. So stay tuned. See you on the next. Bye.